I'm Stan, WB2LQF, and it's July 4th, 2017. Oh, let's see, way back in April, I made a video of a QRP station I built into a camp chair. Since April, I've modified it, improved it a little bit. So I'd like to uh, provide you with a new or updated video, and I think you'll enjoy it. Okay? Watch. Here we are, folks. My camp chair, me, and my favorite homebrew, my Guinness. We're at my daughter's house in New Paltz, New York, for a July 4th celebration. Let's go into our nice big backyard, and I'll show you how quickly I can set this rig up, okay? Follow me. Okay, welcome back. Well, here we are. This is all I got to do. And of course, I've got a place for the brew, too. Now, <laughs> this is a camp chair that I got at uh, Harbor Freight. Okay? Aluminum, lightweight. What I did is I took, uh, I took a cargo strap, and if you look down here, I just drilled a hole through the, uh, the tubular aluminum using uh, bolts and, uh, and um, nuts and uh, washers. I secured it. Holds up pretty good. Hi, sweetheart. What's up? You went and went? Okay. Why don't you go share them with everybody? Okay, once I get it open, okay, uh, first thing I'm going to do is the antenna. Come over here. I have a homemade reel. That was a fishing line reel. And uh, I made a homemade axle. All I got to do, this is a snap swivel attached to number 28. Uh, number number 534 wireman insulated wire. I snap that on to the ring on my 31 foot jack eye pole and I start pushing the pole up. Hey, okay, no problem with the uh, with a messy wire. And it doesn't take long to do this. There we go. What I have what I have is a uh, a 28 foot radiator. And I just broke the end off. Now I gotta fix it. Hang on. Okay, what we have here is a uh, 28 foot piece of random wire. Terminates in a male BNC plug. And I'm going to come over here, I'm going to lift up my radio tray, lock it in place, and I'm going to connect this dual BNC to my KX1. I'm going to plug this into the hot, the hot center conductor. Okay, over here folks. We have my counterpoise. Notice it's a tape measure. And the tape measure is screwed to this wood block which is attached to uh, the bottom uh, tubular rail. But notice that I've got a connecting wire that goes to the KX1 securely attached directly to the tape measure in a place where I've sanded off all the paint so that this can swivel but the ground connection can't. Now. I'm going to take and I'm going to run this out to 31 feet. That'll put me at 40 meters. Pretty nice. Thing. There we go. Folks, I'm ready to operate. How long did that take? Now I can just come sit down. And since the KX1 does not have 
a speaker. I got this little amplified speaker I bought off of Amazon. We'll plug that in. Turn on the power. Uh, around 7 megahertz. Probably not much going on 7 megahertz in the middle of the day, but let's tune up and see what we got for an SWR. Okay, 1.5. Now, how about we go to uh, 14? One zero. Okay. Let's see if we can find somebody to talk to here. Oh, that sounds like one of the original 13 color colony special event stations here. <coughs> that was Georgia. I think that's K2G. Okay, here we go. Okay, now you want to see how quick it is to put it back in its uh, original state, put it back in the car. Watch this. First, I got to put my beer down, and then I can just turn off the power, pull out the speaker, turn it off, put it in its little pouch. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to reel in the counterpoise. And I'll secure it so it don't whip around just like so. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, disconnect the antenna from the rig. I'm going to close this up. And I'll put the book in this little compartment with my pen. Okay. And I'm going to just start bringing down the pole just like so. And I'll unhook the uh, snap swivel. All right. I'll take the radio in, put it in this little uh, this little holder here. Uh, go the other way. And I'm just going to start winding, just like a fishing reel. Look at that. Nice and neat. No problem whatsoever. So for us old retired guys that don't do a lot of hiking anymore and don't have a lot of energy and would rather just drink beer while we're making QSOs on a nice summer day or a fall day or a spring day or any day, now we just do that, put the strap over my shoulder, I pick up my beer, I head back to the car. 73, hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. See you in the bands.